for the lack of caffeine. So I do apologise if I start spouting off on nonsense. <laughs> but London Nootropics is what I've been going into. <laughs> Right, there we go. So the first one we're going to do is our shoulder spirals. Oh, so that's going in. Two seconds. So we're going to stand, feet shoulder apart, hands are going to be shoulder apart, one thumb is going to turn in the way, while the other thumb turns out the way. And all we're going to do is we're just going to roll that shoulder's from side to side. No real connection to the breath that makes sure you breathe, but we're not thinking about in one side, out the other side, just make it nice and relaxed breathing, but do try and breathe through the nose, and if you can, out through the mouth as well. We're just letting the arms spin around side to side. No real rush, but we want to try and make it all the way from the wrist, then the elbow, then the shoulder, and then vice versa, the wrist, then the elbow, then the shoulder, and the opposite side itself there. So you should see one of my shoulders, and this is to my left side, goes up towards the ear while my right hand side drops down. And then vice versa, it picks up as I work through there. So don't worry about speed, don't worry about stretching too far, just get used to that shoulder moving. Good work. Five, four, three, two, one. Arms come down. The second one is going to be the same position. This time we're going to breathe out as we take the shoulders in. Breathe in as we lift our shoulders up. So what that looks like from the side is we really push our shoulder blades back, round our spine out. Deep breath in. Push the thumbs back. Off we go. This is more important to tie in the breath. Push the ribcage back. Push down through, push through the back. Just tie it into your own breathing. <coughs> Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Give it a little shake out. Then recovery around our second set of that first two exercises. Second set of that first two exercises. Arms are getting heavy, lifting up. Five seconds. We're in our first one again. So first one's going to be our spirals. Arms come out. Ready. And one hand's going in the way. The other hand's going in. And just try to think about how far around can you go. If there's any symptoms of stopping you from going too far, don't force it. Just nudge towards it or lean into it. It's what we call just going towards the end of the comfort zone. Lean into that resistance. Wow. And you should start to feel deltoids, which are the outer part of your shoulder, and just having to work hard to keep your arms at this 90 degrees. And if you can open the hands all the way out, please do as well. We're really trying to stretch that fingers out as well as we spin. Three, two, one. Into our second drill, which is going to be our um, Inward and outwards, so and lengthen the breathing. Off we go, breathe out. Turn the hands in, push the sternum in toward the push the back, back, then deep breath in. Really push the chest forward, push the thumbs back. And <coughs> good. 
This one here, we're really just trying to get a really lengthens the movement. Open the chest up and then close the chest down. Just getting that rib cage moving quite nicely. Open the chest out, keep breathing. And okay, so go at a speed that you're comfortable with. <coughs> Keeping the hands nice and open, 10 seconds. Five. Three, two, one. Okay, we're on for shape. We're going to our next drill. It's going to be um, swim our shoulders. So we're going to hold our hands, grip our fingers together, and all we're going to do is we're going to take our shoulders as high and as narrow as we can. So we're not going to get to the side here. We're going to be really narrow, and we're going to try and keep our shoulders going as high as we can and as low as we can. Okay, so. We're just going to go forwards for the first uh, minute, backwards for the second minute, forwards for the second set, backwards for the second set. Okay, so gripping on the hands in five, four, three, two, one. Pull the hands apart and we're just high with the elbow, low with the elbow. Okay, so try and think about brushing your ear and brushing your side with the arms at the same time. And you're trying to keep tension through the hands. And what this drill does, it moves that shoulder blade, so the scapula, and it really tries to free up that shoulder blade so we can actually move the shoulder a lot better. You'll also find as well the rib cage will be moving, but also so will the middle of your back, which is a massive area for our runners, where they get really stuck then it feeds down into the lower back. So getting that thoracic spine moving is super important. So we really try and press the shoulders forward, really pull the hands together. Five, three, two, one, change direction. Keep the tension on the fingertips. So no speed involved, just think about being high and wide with the elbows, high and wide, then come narrow, high, wide, narrow. Nice, easy movement. Get some WD-40 into the shoulder joints himself, and also the middle of the back, and also into the rib cage. Really try to get all these areas that help us with our running. Rib cage moving better, it gives us better oxygen supply, which means we've got better oxygen utilization, which means we can run further, faster, longer, more often. Three, two, one, give it on for a shake out, 15 seconds, we're in our second set. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one, forward. Good work, nice high and wide, try and keep the control there. Now don't mind if the hips start to swing a wee bit as well. That's okay, get the whole body moving through the shoulder blades. If it's still too easy, really, really pull on the hands. If it's still too hard, make the hand hold lighter. If you can keep the head dead still, try and focus on that so you can see your video on the screen. Keep your head dead still. Really try and let that elbow come right up to touch the ear. Get that elbow right high up. Five, three, two, one, reverse it. <coughs> Good work.
you to pull the elbows back. Really trying to think about that. That back crawl that we'd normally do is the same time movement as what we're doing here. But we're just shortening the lever length. Easy. Well done, Ian. <laughs> Good work. Good job. Good job. Nice control. Paul, well done. Good nice. And you, well done. Good job. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. 15 seconds. <laughs> 15 seconds. And we're on our next drill. And you will feel the arms feel a wee bit achy after the game because they've worked for a lot of that time. Three, two, one, and relax the arms out. We grab our mats. And for this drill here, it's just called runner's arms. So we're going to sit with our feet right next to in front of us, up nice and tall we can. And all we're going to do is going to be um, one minute times two, is we're going to have our hands open, both hands open, and we're just going to try and think about pulling our elbows back. Now, I want you to think about a catapult. You pull the catapult back, it springs forward. Now, don't worry too much about the forward motion. Worry more about the backwards motion. You should feel, if you're doing it right, your bottom trying to lift off the ground, okay? We're going to start in five, three, two, one, off we go. Head up tall, chest up tall. Your knees can be slightly bent if you wish to. That's absolutely fine. Hands are open. And you might need to your bottom starts to, to wiggle or it starts to move you forward or back. That's absolutely fine as well. We're really, really focusing on the backwards pull of the arms itself, okay? We're really trying to bring that elbows back. Head up tall. Chest up tall. Pull the arms back. Making sure the arms stay out with the legs, so we're not crossing midline at all here. We're not going across the board. We're staying nice and tall. Roughly the thumb should be wanting to poke you in the eye when it comes back up. So it's going to be here, not so high, not low. Poke you in the eye. Ten seconds. Keep it nice and quick. Don't actually poke yourself in the eye. If you can. Three, two. One, 10 seconds, relax the arms there. Second set coming up, lovely job. Nice, quick arms, hands open. Keep it coming from the shoulder and elbow. Elbow is roughly gonna be about 90 degrees the whole time. So it doesn't change position. It's just staying at 90 degrees the whole time. Three, two, one, second set. Off we go, up nice and tall. Push the chest through, open the hands out. Focus on pulling the catapult back to propel yourself forward. And even having that little thought when you're out for your next run, can you think about when you want to accelerate, can you make it come from the arms, especially on the hills? If you put your hands on your knees without the hill, it suddenly blocks your movement, so you can keep the arms moving, really trying to pull yourself up. There's a few different phrases that people use for runners' arms, is a monkey play a drum, so think about a monkey playing drum, or if you can think about pulling a rope at the same time. So if you're thinking about going up a hill, use the arms to physically and mentally pull you up the hill. 10 seconds. And the hands open the chest. Five, three, two, one, and relax there. Good job. We're on to our fronts now. And what we're going to do for this next exercise is we're going to have ourselves lying flat down. Hands are going to start down by our side. We're going to lift the shoulders up, then the hands up. We're going to come to the T bar position. We're going to pulse. We're going to come to the Y position. We're going to pulse. We're going to come to the I position. Pulse, Y position, pulse, T position, pulse, back down, back up. Okay? And we've got, oh wow, we've got two times a minute this in here. So, we're going to start 
Heads relax all the way down. So relax the head down. Hands down by your side. Lift the head up. So the shoulders come off first with the head down. And then we'll lift the wrists up afterwards. So ready in three, two, one. Shoulders back, arms up. Float the arms to the T-bar position. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Float to the Y position. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Float to the I position. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back to the Y. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back to the T. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back down, back up. 15 seconds recovery. 15 seconds recovery, guys. Well done. Love the work. Keeping the head down the whole time. Also, press the lower back down to the, the mat as well, so we're not lifting our backs at the same time. Three, two, one. Flat down. Ready, and Lift the shoulders. Lift the wrists. Float to T-bar position. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Y position, 10, 8, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. Up to the I position, ready as 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. To Y, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, back to T, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, back down, and I'm back up there. Good job. Excellent. Our next drill is we're going to have ourselves so the same again. One hand is going to be high, one hand is going to be low, and all we're going to do is switch them around. Okay, tap the head, tap the back, tap the head, tap the back. Okay, give one minute, set some. Start in five, three, two, one. One hand high, one hand low, and switch them around. Ready and switch them around. Good. Ready and switch them around. Tucking that hand right onto the bottom of the hand and the head, switch them around. Good work. Switch them around. Keep the hands off the ground, the ball, same feet. Halfway. Start to work the lower back as well as you can to the back flat. And it's a trick. Okay, we are. Elbows, wrist, shoulders, all working together with that scapular shoulder blade. Three, two, one, 15 seconds recovery. Have yourself a little stretch for your back. You need to. 15 seconds around second set. Three, two, one. Off we go. Opposite sides. Good job. Nice and controlled, nice and regular as you come through and switch over. Switch 
Keeping the hands off the ground as you can just breathe. In seconds, guys. Five, three, two, one, and give the arms over, shake out there, well done. We're on to, oh, goodness me, planks with shoulder taps. Nice work. So we're going to be plank position. So we're going to be here, and all we're going to do is just we take one shoulder and tap the other shoulder. Okay, so one hand and tap the other shoulder. If you want to pop knees down, Pop the knees down. If you want to go down the elbows and knees, and just rock and tap. There's a couple of different ones there for you. We've got four times 30 seconds for this in here. Okay. We're going to start in five seconds. Three, two, one. Flat position. Just tap the shoulder. Good work. Hips stay nice and straight, trying to lift the hips too high. And we're just going to tap the shoulder, hand back in. Tap the shoulder, hand back in. Keep it nice and slow and controlled. You can treat yourself to a little hold at the top of your wrist too. Three, two, one, ten seconds. Five, three, Two, one, second sets. Nice and slow with the transition. <coughs> Seconds. Five, three, Two, one, ten seconds. Ready? Off we go. Third set. Slow, controlled. Keep the breathing regular. Seconds. Three, two, one, ten seconds. Last second, last set. Three, two, one. Off we go. Last one. Find your rhythm. Good job. Three, two, one, and relax. Yeah, good job, guys. One more exercise to go. It's going to be a little bit of stretch. So, <laughs> what Max, let's keep Max down to watch you. My Max is slightly about. What we're going to do is we're going to be again in plant position. One foot comes up, rotate underneath, rotate underneath, rotate underneath. And that's going to be our movement. So just one minute off the left, one minute off the right, two sets, okay? Five seconds, okay? Three, two, one. Set foot forward. Left hand in the air, left hand to. Left in the air, left hand to. Try and drop the back leg down if you can. Just get a wee stretch through hip flexors. Open. And
Stretch, drop the back leg down, open up that in the front. Just try to get the red feet really, really moving from there. Stretch around, open up. Good stretch. We're almost there. Three, two, one, switch over. Off the door. Three, two, left, left. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and step out. Pop the mats back down and just find a wee space in the floor for one last drill. And it's one minute corpse drill. So we're just going to lie, hands open, head back. Eyes can be open or closed, whatever you're comfortable with. Or we're just going to get our breathing back down to normal for the minute. So ready, off the door. And open your eyes, bring yourself back in the room. Just take your time slowly, put yourself into the sim, and then pause and record it. Good work. Good job. So, lots of the reasons for the arms that we went through there. So, first one, balance and stability. So. If you're on the trails and you're changing direction quite quickly or got sharp cornering, you tend to use your arm position to help balance you. If we're stuck by our side, we tend to then use the trunk a lot more so we're not as efficient. We've also got momentum and propulsion, especially going up hills. I was talking, I didn't really maybe come across well, but like when you're going up hill, imagine that you're pulling ropes to pull yourself up the hill. Because physically it helps you, but mentally it feels that you're getting to the top of the hill as well. So if you are doing a park run tomorrow down at Aberdeen Beach and you've got the little sharp inclines, really just imagine you're pulling yourself up the hill with the ropes. Um, it also engages the upper body. So rather than 50% of the body working, i.e. lower limbs, it gets the whole of the body working. And we know there's a strong link between the shoulder on the left-hand side and the right-hand hip and vice versa across the body. So it gets that cross sling working. And we also have um, oxygen utilization, which is important because we get the diaphragm moving and the rib cage moving. So all the movements we did today, we're trying to expand and contract that rib cage, which helps us get a fuller breath in. And the last one was um, helps with managing our cadence. Okay, so if our legs are going quick and our arms are pinned by our side, bringing in the arms as well can help to either reduce that cadence or help to bring that cadence on a little bit. So definitely use the arms as much as you feel you can. And arms are definitely one of my weaker areas I need to work into. 
Any questions, queries, or any concerns at all there? Good job. And the last, the last stretch is the best stretch. That's definitely one you can do every single day. Just lie and chill out. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good seeing you all. Thanks, Thanks. Enjoy the sunshine. Cheers. Slip, slap, slop. Make sure you keep your sun cream on. Bye-bye. <laughs>